Oh, the DJ spinning the remix for this tourney talk regarding Spin the 314 matchup in the South region. Lonzo Ball and UCLA against the Golden Flashes of Kent State. Schultze, you got your prediction locked and loaded, but you're going to fire first with the one thing you're watching in this yeah. game. How about the offensive prowess of yeah. UCLA? You want to talk about a team that can absolutely score in bunches, Steve. Mm -hmm. You know, as well as anybody, these Bruins really get out and go over yeah. 90 points a game. That's what makes them so special. Lonzo Ball sets the table, though. He's the guy that makes everything go for Steve Alford's club. 41% from three, almost eight assists a game. He's a great rebounder. Doesn't turn the ball over for a guy with who handles the ball really the entire game. And you know what? He's on the floor almost the whole game as well. Steve Alford says, you're our guy. You're going to make everything happen. And then, you know what? He also has Bryce Alford, who just broke the all-time UCLA record for threes, yeah. and TJ Leaf, another really good freshman. Yeah, hopefully, they got the bat out of the way against Arizona yeah. in the Pac-12 tournament and can get back to UCLA offense. Meanwhile, Kent State got upset on the brain, probably because it's the 15th anniversary of the team that went to the Elite Eight yeah. in the NCAA tournament. Obviously, little Antonio Gates. Antonio Gates. Ooh. Wow, Julian Edelman. Yeah. Drew Carey. Will the power of the alumni can State be enough for no. the upset here? It, unfortunately, it won't. Uh, the only way this game stays close, and this is the theme for a lot of the high seeds, low mm -hmm. seeds, if you can keep a, a really good offense in the half court, nobody in the country has been able to do that against UCLA. As a result, Bruins roll 98-80. Of course, we love the hashtags here, and you submitted a good one. Ball out! And that's what he expects UCLA to do against Kent State. Good. <laughs>